presentation and how to express yourself when you're presenting or on a one-to-one -one day to day basis. So first I'll be talking about your voice and how to use it effectively. So I've got five steps I've come up with of how to use it effectively. The first one is tone. Keep it natural and conversational just like you would with your friends. Keep it like I'm talking to you now, nice and calm so that everyone can understand and carry on what they're saying. Number two is volume. Be loud but not too loud. If you're too loud people won't understand, will be overpowered and won't know what you're talking about. Number three is avoid. If you start talking too fast, people are going to zone out. They're not going to know what you're talking about, and we don't want this. So don't rapid fire speak, and make sure you're not boring. Number four is be expressive. So you need to raise and lower your voice when you're talking to present on a one-to-one -one basis just to keep the conversation calm and collective. So when you ask a question, for example, how are you, you raise at the end, and when you answer, I'm fine, thanks. It keeps low, just like a normal conversation, and this is what you'd use if you were presenting yourself. Number five is be clear. You need to speak clearly, otherwise people aren't going to understand you. So if you don't pronounce properly all your words, people won't understand and won't take in the information. So then I'm going to talk about presenting yourself. So the best thing to talk about when you're doing this is your body language. So if I'm sat here, all curled up like this, looking like this, you're going to think I'm bored, not interested in what I'm saying. But if I'm upright, ready to talk, people will understand. One thing, always make sure you keep eye contact with whomever you're presenting to. This will keep them engaged and focused and you'll always have that match that will make sure they're listening. Make sure you always stand tall, as I say, sit up if you sat down, keep your shoulders back, but you need to look relaxed. If you, want to look, if you look nervous, people aren't going to understand and don't know what you're talking about and people will think that you don't know what you're talking about because you're looking nervous. Move around when you're presenting. If you stand still like this, the whole presentation, looking at your notes, not looking up, people are going to get bored. If you're using arm gestures, moving around the stage if you've got one, make sure you do this and it will show people that you know exactly what you're talking about and you'll just look really good. The last one is to make sure you know your topic. So know exactly what you're talking about. If you don't know, people are going to understand this straight away and latch onto it and you'll have no passion for it and people will know this and then therefore they won't get the passion that you've got for the topic. And lastly, you need to practice. If you've got technology in your presentation, software, different things that you need to navigate through whilst you're presenting, you need to make sure you know how to do this, timings, and make sure everything runs smoothly to make yourself look proper and ready to do it. So that rounds up this vlog uh, today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you when it comes to presenting yourself with your voice, body language, and shows you how you can really use yourself to look successful. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure you tune in next week.